Hello, all. Good morning. I got a story out of Minneapolis, Minneapolis, about the defunding cops and all that bullshit. But before I get to that, you all help me up by hitting the like button and subscribing and sharing my video. Now on to the story. Minneapolis pushed to defund police backfires after residents complain of slow response times and increased crime. Yeah, duh. Minneapolis on Friday backpacked on its original push to defund the police, the city's police department in the wake of George Floyd's death after residents begged the city to hire more officers, citing longer response times and increased violent crimes. The city council on Friday voted unanimously to approve a $6.4 million in additional funding that the police had requested. Duh. The department says it only has 638 officers available to work, plus 200 fewer than usual. The unprecedented number of officers quit or went on extended medical leave after Floyd's death and unrest that followed. Yeah, this is what happens when you have idiots uh, trying to rule, uh, governed by uh, Twitter. That Oh, this is what the Twitterocracy is saying. This is what we have to do. With new recruit class, with new recruit classes, the city of Pittsburgh it will have 674 officers available at the end of the year, with another 28 in hiring process. The Star Tribune reported. Days before the city council vote, Mayor Jacob Frey and Police Chief Medina Aldado promised to update their application process for police recruits to include questions about whether they have lived in Minneapolis, have degrees in criminology, social work, psychology, or counseling, and whether they volunteer or participate in programs such as police activities league. Meanwhile, three city council members have proposed replacing the police department with safety, with public safety departments that would include law enforcement and other services. Yes, for Minneapolis, a coalition of local community groups is also collecting safe and search to try to get a similar proposal on the November ballot. The Star Tribune reported that Yes, for Minneapolis committee is being fueled by a half million dollar grant from DC based Open Group Open Society Police Policy Center, thanks to billionaire George Soros. Yeah. Let's have a damn commie try to get money from a commie. The petition would remove police department's language from the city's charter and create a public health focused program of public safety, including licensed police officers, if necessary, to fulfill the responsibilities of the department. Guess what? It's showing right now that you guys are fucking up by not having enough cops, so let's get rid of police. These guys are idiots. These leftists are idiots. Me, I say we should increase, take funding away from the arts, which have um, private um, organizations fund the arts. Don't have the government funding the arts. Take away that. Use more um, punitive crime um, out there to kind of like humiliate low level um, criminals, like going around with the uh, orange jumpsuits to pick up trash, to paint over booth. Graffiti to do public works. Do that for low offenders like Duncan Disorderly, DUIs, um, jaywalking, not paying your traffic tickets, shit like that. You'd be able to save millions of dollars if you do that instead of hiring government workers to do that shit. What do you guys think about this? The more cities be Adding more money to the police budgets? I say yes. And if you made it this far, could you hit the like button and subscribe? And as always, be good, have fun, stay safe, bye bye.